Hello Aries. Today I'm doing your card reading for November to December 1st of this current year. Yeah. How are y'all doing today? I actually just did a reading for you, but I wasn't feeling it, so it's just like, ah, oh, I better do a different one. I'm already running late. Usually I have this up by the 10th. There's your card. In control of everything, Aries. Feeling settled. Good. I like seeing people in control of their lives and doing great. But you guys uh, dominate more than you do actually, like, control. Which is just like, jeez. That's a lot of energy. What? That's just you guys. That are you than me. I'll sit in the background and watch all the spectations. I prefer that anyway. Oh, that basket. Where did you go? Ew. Um. Somebody not wanting to face realities about a situation they got themselves into and aren't getting themselves out of, Aries? You know, the last time I talked to you guys, there was a potential gain you could have gotten from um, a drama situation. I'm wondering who it is like you're actually dealing with that could possibly be causing this kind of situation. Like, it's not like... I mean, it's not like you guys aren't unfamiliar with, like, setting yourself up to fall and hitting reality really hard because of some situation. A lot of Aries, like, have trouble, like, not starting drama because they just want to be loved, but they cause drama. But, you know, that situation might end, maybe not the way you think, or maybe you could use it to your advantage, whichever one. Let me be clarifying with my Rider weight deck, a little bit of mental torture right there. Mind you, I'm still doing personal readings, so just look in the description below and just hit me up in the emails and I'll discuss with you what we shall do. Okay, okay. Usually I only charge like 10, 15, so it's up to you. Maybe there is a disunion somewhere. Here's Gemini's card. The lover's reverse. No whammies. Okay. Let's see what the layout is. Okay, this is almost the same as what I read before. Beginning theme is the Hierophant Reverse. Possibly Taurus. Could be some excommunication going on. Could be somebody being like a little bit unfair in the realms of like traditions, values. Someone might be trying to change those as well. Someone could be hiding like a certain secret or being extremely demanding when it comes to worship almost. This is like a crescent moon, and this is the only character whose dual face is both dark and darker. Most of the other characters have one face, or both faces showing, like here, or even this character here. Like everybody has like a different face, but they only show one or the other. This is the only character who is dual natured with his secrecy and with his dark side. And the energy is give and take. Should you keep it going or should you not? Okay, Aries. And I'm going to go ahead and spit out the second part and we'll go from there. So, let's see what all these cards are. All right. So, we got the fool over here. He started a new journey. He's got no hesitation. It might even represent you, Aries, since sometimes you are represented by the fool and the magician as well. Excuse me, I had a little gas. And he is on a journey on foot to just run. Doesn't even matter if there's fish biting at his feet or whatever, because he, there's a little bit of disappointment dealing possibly with a page of pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It could be someone's child. It could be someone with some really immature energy who isn't really adapting themselves very well. <clears throat> and then we have. The four of pentacles down here where someone's really trying to hang on to sort of security to death about how they're truly feeling about the situation with a page of cups. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone might be trying to stay in their security. Someone might be overlooking some things to stay secure. Uh, this deals with the foundation. This deals with like what will keep you almost from the brink of death. Even though you're dancing with her. And nobody knows whose hand that is. I know somewhere in this deck people got three hands. Or is it three feet? I don't know, but like there's a third hander here. I'm not sure if that belongs to death or not, but she's dancing there. And someone feels like possibly they have to hang on for dear life, right? Then we have the five of wands reversed. I'm not reading all of those. Those are too many for this style. Where people are arguing and fighting to the point where they're missing the goal. Like they're too... <clears throat> but they're not fighting for the same thing like I feel like they would do if they were upright through different means or whatever. This is like everyone's too busy being angry and wanting their viewpoints heard more than everybody else's because they think they are more whatever. That they are missing the goal that's up on top of that hill which is that flower. Because someone is not willing to change. Possibly a Scorpio since this is their card. But someone doesn't want to let the old things die so the new can come in. Right? Then we have the Ace of Cups down here, which is what's going against somebody. Right? That could have been something, but it didn't turn up right. Didn't just, didn't want to catch my attention. Oop, something almost popped up there, but I couldn't tell what it was. But yeah, here's the Ace of Cups, and that's what's going against some of you Aries, or what's going against this situation, right? Where someone possibly isn't giving an apology or isn't being open to a um, new beginning right here because there's some deception maybe underlaying everything. Maybe there were some secrets beneath the surface. And you come out. Possibly Cancer or Pisces again. Lots of water with this reading, I have to say. Then we got the Four of Cups, right? Where someone just knocked over this cup this opportunity out of fear for their own happiness with the sun and there is also a little bit of bondage and some arrogance involved in this as well and now we down below we have the catalyst which is the two of pentacles where someone is unable to weigh the options and really juggle them out to their benefit <laughs> because it's excommunication, the Hierophant. Look at that. No whammies, right? With the ending theme. Theme. The Emperor reversed. You are not entirely yourself, Aries, because of this excommunication going on. Literally from both sides, right from the beginning to the very end. Here and here. Well, that's, that's quite impressive. I mean, I'm liking how I've learned to lay this out a little better. Huh. Let's give three advice cards, Aries, and then we'll be done with yours, okay? Oh, now you don't. Nope. Someone once told me that I should always pick up the um, cards whenever they drop, but that's not the system I use. It's like they have to catch my attention or else it's not meant for me. I feel like it's the same this way. Ah. And I just lost my grip because I'm getting old and getting carpal tunnel possibly. There's one. There is a chance to work some things out or... Put some investment and skill into some work you have that you're working on. There are three people working here. Maybe it's just going to take some effort to get it all done up and such. The first time I ever saw this color, I thought this was a baby, and then I realized, oh, those are blueprints. Silly me. <laughs> oh. There is some perspective of truth here that isn't entirely correct, you know. Maybe there's some information that isn't coming out, or maybe, just maybe, there is something here that is, uh, 
not entirely the truth. I don't like calling it an outright lie. I don't know why, but it's just, I feel like that's rude because that might be it, you know. There is the truth, and then there is the perception of the truth, right? And I feel like this is a perception that's wrong. Like, someone isn't seeing the situation clearly, maybe, or getting the wrong idea. And they haven't entirely, like, opened their eyes to that yet, or hasn't crowned their brain yet. Because um, they're still not healing from the situation. They're still being arrogant. They're still not doing whatever it is they need to do, right? Like, someone in here is dealing with a lot of shunning, I feel like, on a very religious tone. Well, that's up for you to figure out there, Aries. Like I said, the last time I talked to you, there was a potential gain to get in all of this. Um, but I think... Whatever you're dealing with here, someone is not understanding that their perception might be hazy, if you get my drift, right? So good luck to you, and I'll see you later, till December. Bye-bye.